Welcome to our lecture online. In this video we're going to show you how to manipulate the information that we have from placing a square inside a circle to try to determine the circumference of the circle and the area of the circle. And then in the end also the ratio of the area of the square relative to the area of the circle. And so that's how we notated the circumference of the circle, the area of the square, the area of the circle, and then the ratio of the two. So how do we do that? Well, we are given that the square is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So first of all, the area of the square, that's relatively easy to find. We can say that the area of the square is equal to the side square. In this case, the side is 10 centimeters, so it would be 10 centimeters squared. So that would be equal to 100 centimeters squared. That's easy enough. But how do we find the circumference of the circle? Well, we know that by definition the circumference is equal to 2 pi times the radius or the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. So maybe we can find the diameter here. So if we extend this line all the way across, now we have a chord that spans across the circle and notice the chord goes to the center of the circle, indicated by the letter A. That means that that distance, the chord, is equal to the diameter of the circle. Now, how do we find the diameter? Well, we realize that this side also is 10 centimeters. So here we have a triangle. The hypotenuse is the diameter, and the two sides are here 10 centimeters each. So what we can say is that the diameter of the circle squared is equal to 10 centimeters squared plus 10 centimeters squared. So there, that is the Pythagorean theorem. The sum of the squares of the two sides equal the square of the hypotenuse. So that being the case, we can then solve for the diameter. We can then say that the diameter is equal to the square root of, so we take the square root of both sides, and this one squared, that would be 100 centimeters squared plus 100 centimeters squared. That means the diameter is equal to the square root of 200 centimeters squared, which means that the diameter is equal to 2 point, nope, not 2, that would be, um, diameter here would be, let's see here, hmm, if I remember that, that would be 14.14 centimeters. Yep, that's good. That's close enough. So here we have the diameter of the circle now by using Pythagorean theorem, by taking the knowledge that if we draw a line across the diagonal of the square, that distance here is equal to the diameter of the, of the circle, and we know that circle is equal to pi times the diameter. So to find the circumference, we need to know the diameter, and now we can say that c is equal to pi times 14.14 centimeters, and matter of fact, I should probably first write the equation down so we don't get confused. So the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. So in this case, that's equal to pi times the diameter, which is 14.14 centimeters. And at this point, I think I'm going to need a calculator because that would be a little quicker. So we take 14.14 times the number pi, and we get 44.4 centimeters. So 44.4 centimeters, which is the circumference of the circle. All right. Now, let's find the area of the circle. So the area of the circle is equal to pi times the radius squared, which is equal to pi times d squared over 4. So in this case, we have area of the circle is equal to pi times 14.14 squared divided by 4. And so that would be area of the circle is equal to pi times 200 divided by 4, which is 50 pi, and of course the units would be centimeters squared, because we're looking for the area. And that doesn't look like a good 4 there. There we go. So the area of the circle is equal to 50 times pi, and that gives us 157.1, 157.1 centimeters squared. So now if we want to know the, raci the ratio, what portion of the surface area of the circle does that square occupy? So now we go area of the square divided by the area of the circle is equal to 100 centimeters squared divided by 157.1 centimeters squared, which is equal to, so let's take the inverse of that, times 100, 
that gives us 0 0.6366 and so therefore that is equal to 63.7 percent and so that is the ratio of the surface area covered by a square inscribed a circle and that will always be the case regardless of the size of the circle or the size of the square as long as the square fits perfectly inside the circle and we call that the square being inscribed the circle square inside a circle i really don't like the terminology that much for for geometry because you have to figure out well what does inscribe mean what does you know all these various terms i like it better that way the square inside a circle but you should be at least familiar with the terminology and so regardless of the size of the square the size of the circle the ratio will always be 63.7 percent and that is how it's done